Okay, it's morning now. Actually, quite a ways into the morning. He's cleaned up pretty good. He's up on his own. It's 12.32. So he's about an hour old, give or take. Um, he's cruising. So this is going to be the biggest hurdle for him. Uh, she never had a calf nurse on her last year. She was way sick. She was the one last year that had uh, coxie and stomach worms, and we almost lost her. Calf was coming out funky, and we almost didn't get the calf out. And uh, yeah, so she you know, got got to have a calf. Just didn't get to raise it, so she doesn't know what he's after. I don't know if I put grain in front of her. So I guess we're gonna put her in lockups and it's all right, Ruby. see if just stand. see if she'll hold right. still long enough. Good mama. I want to make sure you got something in your stomach before I make my way to bed for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. And that's how you do it. She wouldn't hold still. He'd get a hold of it. He got a little here and there, but say she didn't get the nurse one last year, so she didn't know. And as full as she was, you know she had to hurt. So put her in a headlock and go for it. They're all over there going, what's going on over there? How come she's got grain and we don't? Oh yeah, I don't know if you can tell the difference in sound or not, but yeah, generator ran out of gas. I'm debating do I go in and flip switches back and hope the power comes back on or what? So anyway. But this is what we wanted. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Hell, one o'clock. If I stay up another four hours, I'll be up all 24, right? Hear that sound? That's float working. It is 1.30. Last thing reported was the power would not be on until 10 a.m. Guess what? So, what you do after winning a big game? I didn't go to Disneyland. I'm going to bed. At least for about three or four hours. So, and you got a belly full. She'll get used to it. So I'll probably show you him in the morning. You know how that goes. Well, it's. Later in the morning, obviously. Oh, I should have done this back there. The bright spots. Behind the barn. All I know about this morning is... Yeah, she's right there. Loved on her calf. She cleaned, because it's right behind her and we can see it in the camera. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, baby. Yeah, okay. Uh, Becky's just going to leave for work. Brooke had to get up at like 3 o'clock because she had to go into the shop in Cornelius and get her work truck and then be down in Salem. And it was like 2 o'clock. There, I'm not sure whether or not. Oh, she did. You probably didn't notice. I don't know. Anyway. Ty's asleep in Mom's basement with Blue. Blue's, Blue was doing good at 2 o'clock this morning. That's all I can tell you there. And I wasn't going to do a very long stretch this morning. I already did that earlier, right? Oh, she would else be fine. These girls were happy when the power came on. I was too. As we started leaving the lights on in the barn during calving season. At least 30 years ago. Probably longer than that. Up until that point. We uh, 
had one or two calves get stepped on or laid on at night. Sometimes you come out and find one that was just born. You know, maybe Mama staggered when she got up. Who knows? And, uh, you know, that's more shit she didn't want to deal with, right? And honestly, since, ah, somebody found the hot wire. Since leaving lights on, you know, not only is it easier to check, you know, yeah, when Dad used to do it, he, he had a flashlight. He had a freaking nice spot and scope, really. And the only thing he used the spot and scope for was checking out a lot. Because with lights on in here, you can see, even ones that are against the feeder, you can see well enough. So, I mean, I did a lot of checking. Hoping I wouldn't find a squished one, but, you know, I didn't. That's a good thing. Oh, anyway, that's enough gabbing, right? I gotta say, last night was easier. This morning was easier, whatever. Um, it didn't want to suck this morning. She milked about a quart out of the cow and got about half a pint into the calf out of the bottle without tubing. But see if he'll suck again. A lot better if he gets it out of mommy. So, this is what we've been dealing with this morning. And hey, we, yeah, we she says, yeah, I was dealing with stuff before she was. So, And this is what the day looks like so far. So, we'll see what it brings. You know. Yeah, there's that branch that came down. Come out up there. Give you an idea real size I'm going to say that's every bit of about 16 or 18 inch diameter and well just what's one piece where it broke off at the end is pushing 40 feet if it's not over and I'll zoom you back out there's what we got for grass see the bike tracks in it Tyke, I'm done. Check this out before I came down. There's, you know, the meadow foxtail is, the heads are knee high or a little less. But, you know, there's only a few inches over there. Along with the dandelions. Freaking dandelions, they came in 10, 15 years ago and sprayed them out, sprayed them out, sprayed them out. They eat them. The only bad thing is the footprint of dandelion leaves. By the time you get this thing more yellow than it is out here, you lose a lot of square footage of grass. And she told me there's a sinkhole along the fence, but apparently it's on the other side. I don't care if they fall into it, as long as they don't come on our side of the fence. And see if we can see this or not. I don't think you can see it. I quit wiggling, right? Dead center of the screen, that looks like maybe a muskrat's been working. That's the only stuff I've seen over here where they've worked. But you go over there on the other side of the bridge and the maple tree and back in there over toward the fir trees, they've been busy. I knew there was still some in there, but and they'll pop up back up here again. Oh, yeah. And that calf's being stupid yet. We ended up tubing it. I might have already mentioned that. I don't know. But, yeah. Just one more thing to deal with while we got everything else to do, right? And surprisingly, the ground is solid. I've been in a few places where there's two, three inches of water standing on top of it. But it's solid. It didn't squish at all. So hopefully they don't chew it up when they're out here. And it's going to be, I'm going to say, a day or two before we get them out. Because we got to treat them first. And then you look over there at all that wasted ground. Ty's got a migraine and turning red, itching. Simply from riding the bike along that fence line, checking it. All because of the crap they planted. And... 
I kind of feel like my sinuses are uh, having fun. And this is the closest I've been to it. So, anyway, see what else we bring you. I'll just stay out of Boomer's way. Oh, 324, the other big girl. And dance room over, she's got an Try to stay out of their way while they're pooping on the way by. And 224. Tell you, if she's actually got twins in my. With that said, I think she's not here till June. Maybe she's still got them, I don't know. But, there he is. Going in for the night, get their dinner. Ain't too bad out. Yeah, I don't know if you hear it or not, but. There's a big helicopter over that way somewhere. Oh, I found it. I even see what it is. I don't know if you can or not. I'm not going to get up someday. You might see him. He's kind of headed. Oh, there's a little, little white spot he's headed for. He's going to be between it and the one about the center of the screen. Hey, there he is. Okay. Yeah, that's one of them little ones with, what is it, 11 horse engine at each end? 1100 horse engine at each end, something like that. Oh, sure. I don't want to walk there. She's just got to stop and pee. Oh, well. Anyway, hopefully we don't lose power tonight. That's, you know. Let's see, the, the weatherman would probably call this 100 mile an hour winds today since they said it was only 15 to 25 mile an hour gusts yesterday. I ain't never seen 25 mile an hour gusts move stuff the way it did yesterday. Dumbasses. <laughs> Haven't seen it put the power out for over 10 hours either. Once again, dumbasses. Anyway. Hope everybody had a good day. If they get out of my way, I can go out because I want to go out through here because there's an empty tub I want to grab. But of course, you know, like I say, they want to be in the way. Even 132, she wants to be in the way. Who else wants to be in the way? I'll be darned. Amy's the only one not in the way. She's over there. Okay. There, stir at the post. Let's hope for a good tomorrow.